now let me tell you something that's so freaking crazy like i don't have to be the same ethnicity as you to become blood related to you some way somehow so like I just got to the salon and I'm extra early because, you know, I'm just trying to really be punctual. Like, I really do be trying. So, which I need to call this number before, when I get off of this thingy. And so, um, ooh, yeah, sorry. Cause I was like, ooh, yeah, I got a lot of shit I could do too. So, um, oh no, it's something in here. Get out, bitch. So anyway, long story short. So I call him and I be like, are we off or are you late? And he's like, oh no, I'm sick, we're off. And he, I can hear he's sick. And it's so crazy because last month when my period was starting, he didn't feel good. So it's so crazy how when you're around certain people around certain time, like the negative energy that they give to you, God throws back at them with what you could be having right now type of thing so he had he nine times in ten when he goes to the doctor there's gonna be nothing wrong with him um it's literally he just has my period pain because <laughs> like my period has been hurting but like i've been good at as soon as i feel it i'll take my weed oil and i'll take my um my pain medicine because honestly the one thing that i really do hate is the fact that my weed oil really does work as a pain pill for my periods like oof, don't let like the last time i was on my period and i didn't have any oil at the moment was the moment i was like okay yeah and it's not about the addiction or anything like that it's just that is just strong enough for the pains that i have because i get blood clots and that's ultimately what my pain is is nothing but my blood clots and then um i have when i have one big blood clot oh my god like that pain does not go away until that bitch drops so um it really really works perfect for my blood clots and it's cold outside too so yeah like that is like one of my staple ingredients for my period and i can rub it on my stomach like warm it up a little and rub it on my stomach or like if my body's aching rub it from head to toe make a nice hot bath and just soak in it baby when I say you're going to sleep good, you're going to sleep good. So I'm going to call this number to see if maybe I can get one of my headlights in. And then we're going to go from there with our day. So, yeah. <coughs> got some things that I needed I got him this um frog from the this store but he been bad 
So, he ain't getting it yet. So, we have that on standby. So, um, I didn't even know this was on. Okay. So, we've been watching Hit the Flow on BET since yesterday. So, that's what I'm about to put on as soon as I get done talking to you guys. So, of course, of course, of course, of course, we got to start with Bath and Body Works. So, I went to Bath and Body and I hit up the sale because these are things that I've been wanting. So, I got me two candles. I got this spiced gingerbread and then this peppermint sugar cookie. It's really the peppermint for me. And then I've been needing some new hand lotions that smell good for a minute. So I got the Forever Red and this pink suede, which this one, baby, I smelled this one. I was like, hmm, what do I want to sacrifice? So I put one back. I put one back. And then my favorite one popped up. So I'm like, when I put that back and this popped up, I was like, okay, God, you telling me I can get three of these hoes. So I got three and yes, because like my whole goal was to go there and get two and two. So two and two. And then this one, cause these are 350. I got three, but I got um white tea sage cozy getaway i think this is the one i was like mm -hmm. yeah that one smells really good and then frosted cranberry so this is what i came in there for but because this was so cheap i'm like a third one is not gonna hurt it and then this was that extra purchase because honestly um i need the spray and i actually was going in there to ask if the spray was a part of the sale so when that popped up, I'm like, okay, God, we just gonna get the lotion because honestly, that's what we probably really need. So then after Bath and Body Works, um, I went to the thrift store. And so I got this little stainless steel set. I did find me a, um, a crock pot same brand as mine around the same size as mine for the same price that i paid for at target so i didn't get that i got this instead because it's in the box like i would rather get something that i can tell someone at least kept the box because this was something that they kept up with and kept you know, they keep up the quality of the things that they buy. So, just alone, because this is in the box, I got this. And this is exactly how I love to cook my vegetables. So, to have a dedicated pot for that, I don't got to be ghetto no more. So, this, and this, I'll have this a long time. I already know that. And I only paid basically $10 for it. So, instead of a crock pot, I got that. But I'm excited to make my chili on the stove because I've never done Done that so then before i was gonna go to the thrift store originally i was supposed to go to hobby lobby so when i was walking to the um fabric section i stumbled upon this picture right here oh she's so beautiful and so bad i did not want to get her but the wall decor was 50 percent off so i got her for like basically $13. Well, just say $12.50. So I got her for like $12.50. So that was a good buy. Oh yeah, I forgot that too. And then also the, it's so crazy because like when I went to the thrift store so bad, it just felt like I've been there before. But then I feel like the last time I was there, I had that feeling. So I really was second guessing that feeling. So at the end of the cash register, the person who's checking me out, as we're done with the transaction, I look at her name tag. And as I'm having like these doubted type thoughts, I look at her name tag and her name is Mary. And I'm like, really grandma? But no, for real, I was like, oh wow. Like, as soon as I saw her name, I was like, oh, wow, out loud. So, I was like, 
and she looked at me crazy and I was like your name you your your name is the same as grandma grandma's and it's like the irony of like I'm in doubt and here she's like place this person here and be like nah you good like you on the right path so I went to Hobby Lobby and so it was it was a good thing I did that because I probably wouldn't have got this painting if I did not have Mary <laughs> at the cash register because um I had got some charcoal um uh, pencils from um Amazon and I haven't got them they got delayed so I went and got these pencils so I can finally draw my lotus I got me another um paintbrush because I'm on a hunt for the best paint. No, this is mine. This is not food. Anyways, I'm on a hunt for paintbrushes that I can like draw with really good because like I'm going to draw it with the pencil first and then I want to trace over with the um, paint. And then I went in there for the fabric dye um, for my blonde wig so I can try to attempt to um, tone her. So I got the sapphire blue and then on the display, how they have the color displays, um, because they don't have exactly like the type of colors I would really need. They had purple, but I'm more so a, a silver girl. So when I really looked at like the, uh, the sample um, thingies that they have for the colors, this one actually close enough is closer to my um damn i never remember this brand hold on let me go get it <laughs> oh it's close to and i use this on my dog like i use it like a drop it's closest to this um brand of um shampoo that i use it's a purple shampoo but it is uh, a blue blaze purple shampoo little nosy stuff I told you that was mine you eat my paintbrush I eat that booty up that booty gonna get yeah you better leave my paintbrush alone you understand anyway so this one <laughs> is the closest enough to um that one which is a purple blue base type of um shampoo so that gives you that silver tone because it's the blue that gives you the silver it's really not the purple so yeah so i can finally tone her and i can wear my blonde wig i'm excited for her so i'm about to eat because i'm hungry and yeah <laughs> And before I forget, Walmart has these for a dollar. So if you're like me and enjoy wax cubes, baby, go stock up. Like, who cares if it's still holiday scents? You can get you four for the price of um, two. So come on now. <laughs> he is so confused about the fact that I went shopping and I didn't bring him nothing back. He like, what did I get? <laughs> you ain't get nothing. <laughs> nothing, uh-huh. Baby, he really sit up here and think. Look at him. Calm down. And you wonder why you... I said calm down. Snoop. Look at this. See? Look at... Snoop. Sit. Sit. You see? This is what I deal with. I'm trying to help. If you don't sit your ass down and stop, I'm trying to help him. And he likes to make it worse for himself. Now, if you would have just listened when I kept calling you, you would have had this. This is what I'm talking about. Now, nah, sit there and stay. You can stay. <laughs> Young rich niggas, you know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money, though. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Bad. Hey! 
Raindrop, drop, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot box. Cricket, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, grip the trigger. Nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get you. Cry me your river, give you a tissue. My shit. Is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dude. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. Oh, all set. Woo. From you, you, bitch, I'm a dog. Ooh. Beat down her walls, loose. Hey. Hop in the fall. Hey. Yeah. I said they bitch, they come come for me. Come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. Hey. They hating the devil, keep jumping me. Before I take Snoopy on his walk, like, ignore the bed right now. But like, this painting is really like so powerful. Like, I had no clue that this painting would affect me the way it did because when i came in from work tv is off and you know i put in stuff down and somehow somewhere i turn and i'm look and i look like you can't help but to look at her and be like oh my god it's just beautiful so i love my little painting here she is powerful, very powerful. And this is so crazy how powerful she is because she really did just make this room like so whole. And like, I didn't even feel the need to need a painting. That's what's so crazy is like, I always just look at painting, painting just in general. But I can't see myself, like, actually paying prices for some of these paintings that I do like. But her, oh, baby, I gravitated to her, and the painting was already 50% off. And the thing about it is I actually love the whole row of the paintings that this was with in the store. And literally, I looked at the price of every single one of them, and all of those pictures were $30.00. And this one right here was $24.99. Now, as I'm talking about this, I'm like, really? So the black nigga art gets to be lower, be, gets to be a lower price, which is in my favor. But like, <laughs> I'm hoping, like, I'm looking at it and like, it's another lady and it looks like a white lady. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, is this black art related or is this just something that they put together and like, it just worked type of thing because it was like a Chanel one, like a Chanel perfume bottle. It was different color, but it matched with her perfectly. And then there was also another one where I saw I had a butterfly. And then there was also another lady, which I didn't want the lady, but I would take the other two paintings, which I could go back for, honestly. But honestly, she was cheaper. Like she would, she was twelve fifty basically. So you can't be a twelve fifty painting and then you're in love with it. Like, oh, beautiful! And even adding hints of pink to it, it works.
Everything you do makes me love everything about you. 